Choose the positive. You have a choice. You are the master of your attitude. Choose the positive. Optimism is a faith that leads to success. Bruce Lee said this. Thanks for tuning in today for me to share some thoughts on having a positive mindset. At some stage in your life, you probably have had someone tell you, look on the bright side of things, or you should see the cup as half full. And when you hear this, you may be thinking one of two things. OMG, just shut up. What would you know? Or, oh yeah, I'm hearing you, let's do it. And the difference in your thoughts is your mindset. Listen closely to my words. The difference in thoughts is your mindset. Not your mum, not your dad's, not your best mates, and not your partner's. And not the person from the corner shop down the road. It is your mindset. Ladies and gentlemen, you control your mindset. And today, I wanna share how you can control your mindset. Now, for those that know nothing about me, I contracted a chronic illness owing to a distinct lack of work-life balance. The illness, too gross to share with you today, was energy sapping. It was debilitating. And I was the sickest I've ever been in my life. It meant my life just entailed getting out of bed and just moving from bed to the couch. I lived on red sports drinks and I'd visit the toilet 14 to 18 times a day. My energy levels, minus level. I was probably even anemic. I think I had every excuse to crawl into a corner and just give up. And it was at that time I realized how sick people just get sicker. When you have no energy and no zest for life, you're sick and you're not getting any better. It would be so easy to spiral down. I was experiencing firsthand how people could just give up. At 34, I knew I was too young to give up. I changed my mindset and started focusing on small goals. I just wanted to achieve something small every day to boost my self-confidence and show myself that life was possible, even with such an illness. My positive mindset was a choice. And you also can make that choice. You can choose to have a positive mindset. There is no secret. There is no formula. It's simply you choosing to have that positive mindset. Keeping positive was the key for me to get better. I'll never forget my visit to the specialist who said, we will try this medication, Justin. And if we see no improvement in the next two weeks, we'll have to remove your colon. Yeah, it's pretty funny, pretty weird. But my specialist, immediately admitted me to hospital to be on a drip, 24 hours a day for seven days straight. In hospital, in a bed, there wasn't much to think about that week other than what the specialist had told me. I was not gonna have a colostomy bag at the age of 34. I was gonna get back to 100% health. Two weeks later, my specialist said, see the power of positive thinking. 85% of people I tell we're gonna remove their colon got better. Now, I'd always read and knew the power of positive thinking, but this was first-hand experience. And now, I'm brainwashed to see the glass is always half full. Now, let me share the philosophies that shape my life. Always remain positive. The key to anything and everything in life is be positive and set goals to achieve anything. Try and achieve something every day no matter how big or how small. And to be honest, after I went through these dark times, wondering every day about my health, I hope you don't have to go through that pain to realize that you create your own destiny. You are in charge of your own health and wealth by the choices you make. You can have a positive outlook without having to go through the pain I've been through. Just make the decision to have a positive mindset. So here are four steps to developing a positive mindset. The first one is read. I'd love you to read inspirational stories of people who achieved greatness from adversity. Nelson Mandela springs to mind. But so does Swoosh, the story of Nike. And of course, anything about Richard Branson. These stories will share insights into being successful 
and success will breed positivity. Step number two, exercise. The key to a positive mindset is feeling good about yourself. And while exercise will not only help control your weight, the endorphin release from exercise is the natural high to achieving tasks, goals, and so much more in life. Step three, goals. When we meander through life with little or no direction, how can we feel good about what we do? There's no success checklist. If you set a goal and the action steps to achieve that goal, then when you achieve each little step, you get this little warm fuzzy inside. And all those warm fuzzies, they add up to improve your mindset. And the last step is surround yourself with the right people. If you wanna get anywhere in life, we know it is who you know. So if you want a positive mindset, Surround yourself with positive people. This is critical, as the naysayers will drag you back to them. And it could be painful, and it could be hurtful. But sometimes we need to say goodbye to anyone who drags you away from being positive. Now, if I could share just a few thoughts with you now on goal setting, motivational quotes, stories, keynote speakers have all influenced my belief in goal setting, but it's a fairy tale. Alice in Wonderland that has truly impacted my life. Let me remind you, Alice meets the Cheshire Cat at Crossroads and asks the cat, which way do I go? And the cat replied, well, where are you trying to get to? I'm not sure, said Alice. Well, then any road will get you there. This just showed me that I needed a clear idea of what I wanted to achieve daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, even in my whole life. So when I have been the most productive and achieved the most in my life, I've had goals, goals to achieve. More importantly, I brought these goals to life with pictures and affirmations, and I had great clarity in what I wanted to achieve and by when. You see, achieving goals is not just about thinking about them. You need to clearly identify your goal and ensure it passes the SMART test. The SMART test is the goal is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. Writing the goal is step one. Step two is bring that goal to life. And that could be by having a picture of the reward or the result that you want from the goal. But the key is to involve as many senses as possible when thinking about the goal, which of course you need to do on a daily basis. Think about the goal. Think about the reward. Step three, and one that many people forget when they evaluate why they didn't reach their goal, they realize they never revisited their goal. Now, I don't care where you put the piece of paper that you write your goal down on, but put it somewhere where you will read it every day. Some people put it on the back of the toilet door. Some people hang it in the shower, stick to the mirror, or even on the ceiling so it's the last or the first thing you see when you're in bed. But this will imprint your goal into your conscious, but more importantly, your subconscious. Finally, ensure you have your action steps to keep you focused. As the analogy goes, the best way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. So to achieve your big goal is chunk by chunk. And these are your action steps. The most famous study on goal setting was once conducted by Harvard University. In 1979, 3% of the group wrote goals and action plans. 13% of the group just had goals and 84% had nothing. Now, 10 years later, and they all came back, the 13% who wrote goals had earned as much as the 84% that had nothing. And the 3% that wrote goals and the action steps they'd earned 10 times the amount of the 97%. So whether you're looking at remuneration or some other reward in life, it shows goal setting works. I wanna share a daily plan for you to help develop your mindset. Start your day on the front foot, attacking the day with energy. This will sound probably ridiculous and even a bit basic to some of you, but start your day with breakfast. Quite seriously, this is the most important meal of the day as you are breaking the fast 
you have just had for the past eight to 12 hours. Your body has no fuel. It can't operate productively. So fill the body with a healthy breakfast that's appropriate for your needs. You can't expect to be healthy, wealthy, or wise without fuel in the tank at the start of every day. So have breakfast. Now at the end of the day, I want you to analyze what you've achieved. Take a step back, take a stock day of your day and pat yourself on the back for your achievements. These little wins will all add up to boosting your mindset. The reality is that for many people, a positive mindset does not come naturally. So we need to be always working on our mindset. It's not easy. If it were, there'd be far more positive people in the world. And indeed, the world would be completely different. But stick with it, as you will reap the benefits for the rest of your life.